All right, so today what I'm going to show you how to do is how to find the pH of an acid. All right, in particular, uh, this acid is a weak acid. All right, and you know that it's a weak acid because it's listed below hydronium on your table of acids and bases. All right, so if you go to your table of acids and bases and you find acetic acid there, which is the formula CH3COOH, you will find that it is below hydronium, and hydronium is a strong acid, and anything below that on your table on the left-hand column is going to be a weak acid. All right, so basically what we gotta do here is we gotta find the pH of a weak acid, so I'm gonna write out the formula the pH of a weak acid here. So we got CH3COOH, sorry, the chemical reaction I'm gonna write out. We mix that with water, and a Bronsted-Lowry reaction says that acids are proton donors, so that means that this hydrogen here will be proton, its proton will be donated to the water, and you end up with uh, CH3COO- minus plus a hydronium ion, all right, H3O positive, and <clears throat> so this in this case is acting as an acid, and this is acting as a Base. And Bronsted Lowry said that an acid is a hydrogen donor or a proton donor, because remember, a hydrogen just has one proton, and a base is a hydrogen acceptor. All right, so that's my reaction there. And I know because it's a weak acid, weak acids do not ionize 100%, all right? So they don't ionize 100%. So it's very important that you understand that weak acids don't ionize 100%. So because of that, you have to use the ice table. All right, so the ice table, we set that up. We got I, C, E, and we do that. <clears throat> and we get an initial concentration of this of 0 0.250 moles per liter. Water we don't include because it's a liquid. This is nothing and nothing. So your products will always be zero and zero for a weak acid question. Your initial concentration of your acid is whatever is given to you in the question. We then add X here and add X there. We don't know how much we're increasing it by and the change here is minus X. So your equilibrium will be 0 0.250 minus X and here will be zero plus X which is X and zero plus X which is X. And so a couple important things here Number one, weak acid, use ice table. All right. Number two, the products always start at zero and you add X. The reactants, which is the weak acid here, will be subtracting X from that to give you the equilibrium value. And so now we think back to what we knew about uh, KEQ expressions and K expressions, and you can write down that KEQ is equal to now. Another important thing is we don't really call it KEQ for acids, we call it KA. So it's KA is equal to the concentration of our product, which is our H3O positive, multiplied by our CH3COO minus, which is our acetate, divided by the concentration of our CH3COOH. Now notice that these values are all the values at equilibrium. Remember that from last video, that it's at equilibrium, all right? That's very important, okay? So then the Ka, this is in your data booklet for all the weak acids that you're gonna be doing. So in the data booklet, you look it up and the Ka is equal to 1.8 multiplied by 10 to the negative five. So we insert that variable, 1.8 times 10 to the negative five equals, now the H3O is going to be X, which is from this and the X will be this one. So these are both equilibrium concentrations of H3O and CH3COOH. So you end up with, well, X multiplied by X is just X squared divided by the CH3COOH, and that's going to be this one here, the 0 0.250 minus X. So we get 0 0.250 minus X, okay. And so now you always wanna take a look. Now, if you try to solve this for X, it's a little bit tricky and you end up with a quadratic equation. So a quadratic has an x squared and an x variable in it, and you might have to use the quadratic formula. All right, so that scientists don't really like to do that. So what we are gonna do here is we're gonna use what's called an approximation, 
we are going to see that if the concentration of, or excuse me, if the Ka value, so if our Ka value divided by our concentration of our acid is greater than 1,000, then we can use the approximation. Okay, so here my Ka is 1.8 multiplied by 10 to the negative 5 divided by the concentration of my acid. And my acid was 0 0.250. Let's figure out what that number is. So I type that into my calculator and I get Let's just type that into our calculator here. Divided by 0 0.250. Uh, actually, uh, I made a little bit of a mistake here. It's the other way around. Sorry, it's the if the acid divided by the Ka. All right. Okay, so let's just change that quickly. So it's the concentration of the acid divided by the Ka. So the concentration of the acid divided by the Ka is equal to 13,888. So that number is bigger than 1,000, so we can use the approximation. And the approximation tells us that we can cancel out x there. All right, so this is the formula to figure out if you can use the approximation. Okay. So then what you're going to do is you are going to solve for x. So then what we do is we multiply by 0 0.250, multiply by 0 0.250, and we end up with x squared equals. So then you do that, and you get four point five times ten to the negative six. And then we take the square root of both sides, square root, and let's cancel out. So then you get x equals 2.12 multiplied by 10 to the negative 3. All right, so that's the x value. Now, if you scroll back up, that's actually the concentration of our hydronium ion here. Hydronium is right there. That's my x value. All right, so that is the concentration of hydronium as well. So that's x, which equals the concentration of our hydronium ion. And now all you need to do to find the pH is use negative log of the hydronium ion concentration, which equals negative log of 2.12 multiplied by 10 to the power of negative 3. And so you do this, and you get 2.67339. All right, so we need to round to the proper amount of significant digits there. And so significant digits are a little bit different for pH. Um, this first number does not count as a significant digit, so the only significant digits here are after the decimal place, and so we need, in this example, we look at the question here, and it looks like we have three significant digits, so we round to three decimal places here. We do not count the first digit here as a, as a significant digit, so you get 2.673 is your pH.